Every day, Warframes get to bask in the limelight of cheery space genocide, except one. This is Caliban, the unseen and unheard. During 2023, only 0.16% of the Warframe community dusted off their Caliban or even bothered to farm him because, feck that noise. In 2022, it was 0.38%. He lies dormant, his voice unheard, his story unwritten, a silent echo of what could have been. Some say he's about as useful as a sliding door on a submarine, but don't let that stop you from bringing joy to this ejector seat in a helicopter. Together, as a community, we can make sure he's not just a dwindling statistic. Hell, even Limbo gets more time, and he's the guy that joins a public squad and everyone leaves. Pray to Pablo. Put on your shorts, Pablo, and hashtag save Caliban today. Because he feckin' needs it. Right, so Caliban is a Warframe that's at the bottom of the list of Warframes we use the most. This is the list of a combined usage of Warframes normal and primes. Volt at the top overall with his prime and his normal. Then you've got Wukong, then you've got Excalibur, and then you've got Revenant. Corvex almost has the same usage stats as Caliban and Corvex is barely a month old. So that should give you an idea of what the community overall think of Caliban, but it's not as simple as that, is it? Caliban has a terrible grind attached to get him. New war, railjack needs to be completed, which isn't as big of a deal now as it used to be, but then you have to run Narmor bounties, and then you have to get lucky with his components, which have about an 8% chance to drop, then you have to farm Narmor Isoplasts from the same bounties which have between a 9-17% to chance of being rewarded. You need 40 of those, it gets annoying, right? Then you need to farm Railjack missions in Vale Proxima in order to get 9 Anomaly Shards in the Murex ships. Vale Proxima requires a pretty well kitted out Railjack in order to get through it. So the high barrier of entry coupled with the time consuming bounties, the low RNG of those bounties, turns Warframe players away from farming what is essentially just an okay Warframe. Other Warframes can offer something similar or even better for potential within missions. So his grind is annoying, which is a huge part of that 0.16% usage, but is he bad overall ability-wise? He is a Warframe that has got a combination of damage, control, and survivability. He brings a passive adaptation effect for the entire team if he's in a squad, a 100% defense strip, which right now is god tier for any Warframe, and with the shield buffs a few months ago, it inadvertently buffed him, making him a little bit harder to kill. His three sentient summons from Lethal Progeny ability will replenish his shields constantly, once you have some shield, that is. But overall, their AI is absolutely terrible, and they do minimal damage, so they only really serve the purpose of a little distraction from enemies while regening your shield, which another subsumed ability might do just as well. So his first ability, Razor Gyre, however, is definitely terrible. It's designed as a damage ability, but it's low damage and better subsumed off him. That's the one that most players will get rid of. His Sentient Wrath Stomp is okay for crowd control, but watching enemies floating away as they get lifted up is a little bit frustrating, even if they do take increased damage. If they hung in place, maybe even like Hydride's tentacles do now, it wouldn't be so bad, or even if it grouped enemies up. But realistically, it is just still an average ability. His best ability by far is his ultimate, which will give you 100% defense strip with 200% power strength. That's shields and armor gone in one cast to any enemy that goes inside that radius, which is an absolutely amazing ability. But Again, other Warframes can strip defenses and buff damage output with certain subsumed abilities, or they could replenish shields, especially again with the help of the Helminth. So he's a Warframe that is annoying to farm. His abilities are a little bit on the not so cohesive side or the dull side or easier to get Warframes can do something the same, if not better, with the exception of that 100% defense strip, like again, is God tier. So does he need a rework or is it just his acquisition method? that needs looking at? Do they need to increase his drop percentage at the end of those bounties, maybe reduce the isoplasts or the anomaly shards that you get? It is a hard one. Right now, DE do seem to be focusing on inros to begin with this year, but in reality, if you look at the usage stats, Warframes like Caliban, like Nyx, and even Banshee 
need some form of love, whether these Warframes get survivability passes, which maybe Nyx and Banshee need, or other Warframes get damage passes, or even the acquisition side of things needs to be looked at. But those Warframes are down at the bottom of that list for a reason. The popularity just isn't there for one reason or another, whatever that may be. They are the least used Warframes and have been for the last few years. So the synergy between his abilities while designed to complement one another at times feel like they lack impact. It feels a little bit disjointed in a way. And if we're being honest, other Warframes kind of bring more to a squad than what Caliban does. So how would you fix what is essentially one of the harder Warframes for us to grind? It's got to be worth that effort, right? Which obviously right now it isn't for a lot of players. Maybe remove his first ability completely, replace it, or have its functionality be a little bit better, maybe increase its damage, make its damage scale better as well, because right now that is the one ability all of us instantly remove off our Caliban. Have his Sentient Wrath Stomp ability maybe group enemies up a little bit better, or not have them at least floating off blissfully unaware into the distance before we shoot them in the butt. Maybe improve the AI of his three sentient minions, which is a tall ask since most of Warframe's companions' AI are brain dead as it is anyway, which would be a pretty huge overhaul. Maybe with the second part of the companion rework said to come later this year, that could be something they're looking at. Maybe they're improving the AI. Maybe you could have the sentience as a tap or hold function to change the type of sentience that Caliban will summon in. So ranged versus melee types of sentience, shield regen versus maybe damage output, depending on what you're looking for. His ultimate is absolutely fine. It removes 100% of defense. So like I said, God tier. But this is just me thinking off the top of my head. I'm not a developer. Now I'd love to see him easier to get for the community and maybe get some buffs as well. But let me know in the comment section below what you think of Caliban, why maybe you don't play him and how would you like to see him maybe getting some kind of a rework or what you would like to see that rework entail? Have a great day, have a great weekend, and as always, thanks for watching. He's about as useful as a back pocket in a thong, as an inflatable dartboard, a nun in a brothel, tits on a bull, condom in a convent, fart in a spacesuit, or glass eye at a keyhole, chocolate fire guard, sandpaper dildo, marzipan dildo, one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest, trapdoor in a canoe, an ashtray on a motorcycle, soup, sandwich, paper machete, bomb shelter, pedal-powered wheelchair, knitted condom, concrete parachute, glass hammer, ejector seat on a helicopter, the list goes on.